Preston, BBC News. Well, no surprise really that almost all of the Sunday newspapers here in the UK have that story on their front pages. Uh, my colleague James Kelly is here to talk through some of the details, James, of what's in the papers. But first, let's just take you through some of the front pages and uh, beginning with the Mail on Sunday, which has the headline, Bloodbath at the BBC as Chief Resigns. The Observer has a quote from the broadcaster Jonathan Dimbleby that says, Rudderless BBC faces disaster in abuse crisis. The Sun's headline using the letters BBC, you can see it there, bye bye chump, they say. The Independent on Sunday, out of touch, out of his depth, and then with a question mark, out of a job. Well, that was before George Entwistle resigned, now he is out of a job. The Sunday Telegraph with comments from the Newsnight presenter, Jeremy Paxman. Uh, so, James, let's begin with the Mail on Sunday, shall we? Sure. And we saw the picture from the Mail's website there. Here's the headline you referred to, Bloodbath at BBC as Chief Quits. This paper's not been a great advocate to the BBC, it has to be said. Very sensationalist tone. It says more people are tipped to go. This is going to make uncomfortable reading for some other management figures at the BBC. And it refers to that interview George Entwistle gave to BBC Radio Force Today programme, and it says that he was humiliated by the presenter, John Humphreys. Um, and, and during this interview, this is when he said he'd not actually seen this Newsnight film when it went out. So it sort of makes a link there between that and his resignation. And in The Observer, uh, well, just uh, sort of reviewing the 54 days that George Entwistle was in charge of uh, the BBC, took over from Mark Thompson uh, fewer than two months ago, and The Observer saying that he was no longer in control of the corporation. Almost all of the papers pretty much unanimous, aren't they, in the decision that he took, in that it was the right one, in their opinion? Absolutely. Um, Sunday Times here. BBC boss quits over shoddy journalism at Newsnight. It must be said that this is a reference to the BBC Trust, uh, Chairman of the BBC Trust, Lord Patton's comments, not George Entwistle's. In fact, George Entwistle made a point of saying that we mustn't lose sight of the fact the BBC is full of people of the greatest talent and the highest integrity. However, the Sunday Times goes on to say that his departure has plunged the corporation into what it calls one of the deepest crises in its 90-year history. Uh, the Sun, far simpler, bye bye chump, the headline saying that it's a fiasco for the BBC and uh, calling George Entwistle a bungling director general. And uh, what else have we got? Independent. Got independent. Out of touch, out of his depth, out of a job. That pretty much sums it up. Uh, it says that his departure came at the end of a day that was marked by increasingly savage criticism. And it also uh, goes on to quote David Mellor, the former Conservative cabinet minister, who had responsibility for the BBC and John Major's government. He tells the paper that Mr Entwistle came across during that Radio 4 Today programme interview um, in a way that made him think Winnie the Pooh would have been more effective as Director General. And in the Sunday Telegraph, this front page actually before the resignation with Jeremy Paxman, the Newsnight presenter saying that he's considering his position at the organisation. And uh, then later, once the resignation was confirmed, uh, more sort of obituaries of uh, George Entwistle's uh, media career, having spent uh, almost a quarter of a century leading up to becoming the Director General in the paper, looking back and saying that when he was six years old, he actually wrote to the BBC to complain about Tom and Jerry being bumped off the schedule. So his uh, association with the organisation now and an end after he was also, it must be said, an award-winning uh, director, leader, uh, editorially of Newsnight, and now he's resigned. So, James Kelly, thanks very much indeed. Let's look at uh, some other news now. In the United States, four days after the presidential 